Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from Tech Tracker Out Info, and this is a lot of info. <laughs> and I bought myself some new CPU fans, I've been going on in the last couple of videos about how loud my CPU fans are, and I'm going to replace them. I bought the Noctua NFF12, I'll show you in a clip here in a moment, um, before I put them into my case. And supposedly they're really quiet and should be pretty good. I might lose a little bit of cooling performance, but we'll have to see. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm just looking at the box of the fan here and what it comes with. It, it's actually quite a uh, decent purchase. It comes with uh, rubber screws that you can fasten it so it doesn't vibrate. It comes with little sleeves you can put over the corners that are rubber. Um, it comes with a... Um, if you want to speed it down, like slow it down, it comes with a special uh, cable you can put in between, so I'm guessing there's a resistor in there. Um, yeah, it comes with quite a lot for just a fan. So, the thing with my fan is why it's so loud, is because it's a 3-pin on a 4-pin connector. Now what this does is, um, the 4th pin is basically for controlling, it's a bit technical, but for controlling the speed is what it comes down to, essentially. And if you don't have that pin, it just runs at full speed, because it doesn't receive the you know, control signal for how fast it needs to move. So these fans are just always spinning at 100%, and that's why they're so loud. They're not bad fans, not at all. They're exceptionally quiet fans. They're really good, if it wasn't for the fact that they're spinning at 100%. So yeah, that's why I'm replacing them with actual uh, PWM fans. That's what it's called, Pulse Wave Modulation, I do believe. Um, which is just a newer, different method of uh, controlling the fan, I guess. Um, so with the adapter, this thing will run at 1200 RPM. Without the adapter, it can run at 1500, so I'm probably going to go without the adapter. I probably want the cooling performance. Um, max airflow without the adapter is 93 CFM. Um, I think it's called CFM, right? Well, max airflow, cubic meters an hour, 93, versus with the... Uh, the reduction in speed it will be 74. It's still not bad actually. Um, noise is 22 dBA. Um, dB as in decibel. And that is without the adapter. With the adapter, it's 18 decibel. And max static pressure, H2O. That's if you're pumping water, I guess, liquid. Hmm, not really important. Um, Let's see, has 150,000 hours MTPF, mean time between failures, so how long on average it took for this thing to fail, or at least something to break. Um, it comes with the fan, a low noise adapter, a pulse wave modulation Y cable, not quite sure what that is, 30 centimeter extension cable, so you really put this thing far away, an extension cable, anti-vibration mounts, and mounting screws. And mounting screws are the rubber ones, and the anti-vibration mounts are the little um, rubber socks you can put on the corners. So yeah, pretty good what it comes with. Um, that's uh, I'm quite impressed with how much was in it. These fans were not expensive. I do believe they were about 20 bucks a piece, so not all that bad for supposedly pretty good fans. So um, I'm going to be quiet here for a second. I'm going to do a measurement of the current decibel output of my computer case while open. Um, well closed, it's roughly 30 dB. Um, and we'll see if we can do some benchmarks here as well, just to uh, stress test a little bit. Um, so if we look at the CPU status here, the thermal margin is kind of the number we're looking at, because the the temperature of the CPU, as you can see here, 20, 21C, it doesn't really mean all that much. It, it works fine if you're not on load, idle temperature. But once you get into load, so, you know, CPU gets busy, then uh, this number doesn't quite cut it. It doesn't quite show you the whole picture. And the thermal margin does. This is basically how much more temperature can this thing take until it's too hot. This is like, from the limit down, how much room do I still have? So it currently has about 49 Celsius in room, headroom. So, let's see, where do we have a stress test? We have one in here. Uh, stress CPU. Bam. Okay, as you can see, everything is uh, definitely going up. 
as you can see, it does change quite a bit instantly here. Um, we're looking at about 30, uh, 30 still, give or take, 30 Celsius. We'll give it a moment to see if it wraps up, but it seems to be pretty stable the temperature. Yeah, we do keep about 30-ish uh, headroom. And it's about 32 decibels. So let's uh, switch out the fans and we'll see what happens, shall we? And here we are with the fans. I got one out of the box and one in the box. There you can see the name. That probably doesn't help. <laughs> so this is what's in the box. Let's take a look here. Um, just gonna go quickly through. These are screws that you can fasten it with um, if you need to. The, come on, get. Difficult to do with one hand. Come on, get. There we go. Fan out. Let's get all the adapters. And screws. Okay, so I'm leaving the screws in there. These I don't need either. So what do we have? This is probably the extension cord. This is the Y cable. I'm gonna have to look into that. What that is? I'm not sure. Is it just to split it up? I guess so. Uh, that actually might be good. Then I can hook it up to one CPU fan port rather than two. I should control both of them at the same time. I have to look into that. What it does exactly, but. Um, what is this? Is this just an extension then? Mm. Yeah, extension cable. Sorry, I was trying to read what was like underneath there. There we go, extension cable. That's my nice extension cable. And the low noise adapter, which, like I said, I'm guessing has some sort of resistor in there or something to uh, lower the voltage or at least the power lets through. Um, sorry, I was looking at that on camera. So, that is that. Anywho, so, I'm gonna build in these two fans. Um, they have like special features on them, like these ribs here. There is, let's take a look, this is like old design stuff. Yeah, you can see it here. These things, all supposedly um, for better airflow and less turbulation, uh, turbulence when this thing is spinning up, or when it's spinning at high speed. So, yeah, supposedly it's a pretty good fan that has very good value, so I'm gonna try it out. Hopefully, um, getting kind of sick and tired of the thing making noise. And these, by the way, are the uh, rubber uh, thing which I was talking about. So, this is all rubber, so that should be nice and uh, snug and quiet when you place it somewhere. Um, so, no vibration will be transmitted from your fan to your case or whatever. So, let's go put it in the case and we'll have another listen, I guess. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll be back. And here we are again. We have a whole bunch of graphs here in front of our nose again. Um, you can probably not hear it because I filter out the audio, but it is so much quieter. Holy shit. Wow. Now let's see if it actually performs cooling wise. Let's start up the uh, bench in here again. Um, yeah, it's the rest of you, I guess. That should do it. So, let's take a look here. Um, CPU 42 degrees. And we have 27, 26 left. 27. Okay, I can hear the fan speeding up. This is nowhere near what it was. I'm gonna be quiet here for a second, just look at the DBA uh, meter here. resonance going on in my case. I have to look into that. Um, is the cooling uh, stabling out? It does seem so. The other one did cool better, but again, like I said, that one was running at 100% at all times, so of course it's going to cool better because they were good fans running at 100%. These are not <laughs> running at 100%. So, let's see. This thing says that we are running at 41 degrees Celsius. 
this one is saying that we have about well, let's say 30 left right give or take so that would be 70 Celsius give or take would be its max so just around 30 that's not terrible um, so if I look at the DBA meter meter 24 25 decibels before we were sitting at what 32 decibels that is a huge huge difference this is by the way measured at about two feet uh, 60 centimeters give or take um, side of the case is open and my phone is being the decibel meter so it's not a hundred percent accurate but I will give you a pretty good idea so yeah that is the difference in fans so if you have a four pin connector for your CPU fan make sure you get a pulse modulating uh, pulse wave modulating fan a four pin fan not a three pin trust me on that one I made that mistake I just didn't look initially I didn't think I had a four pin for my CPU so I never checked it out and then I bought one I was like oh well and I knew that a three pin will work on a four pin connector in motherboard so that's not an issue it's just that it will run at 100%. So yeah, my computer, by changing the fans with the case open, is quieter by 7 decibels. That's quite a bit. That's not bad. Yeah, it's more like 23 decibels, actually, under load. And what is the thermal? 31. Fans are doing their work. They're keeping it nice and stable, so... It's keeping it nice and cool. Um, it is a double fan push pull uh, situation, by the way, that I have. I have the um, oh, what's the thing called? The Thermaltake NAC C5, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on, let me look. Yeah, or sorry, it's the NIC CS. I think it's an older model um, and the fans of it died a while ago uh, it had a fan controller on a little dial that you could tweak them um, just getting some good uh... oh that's weird I just saw my um, video card fan stop <laughs> that is so weird to see still but yeah this is um... wow I'm very pleasantly surprised this is what I was hoping for and you know I did enough research to figure out that this is what was gonna happen but um, it's always nice when it actually works out. So there you have it. These Noctua fans. Um, am I a fan? Yes. At least so far. I mean, you know, I've only had them in for a couple of minutes, but so far, um, cooling performance seems to be pretty good. Um, and yeah, the um, what you call it, the the noise level is fantastic. I can barely hear. Them. So yeah, pretty dang good. I like it. So there you have it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if you have a three pin connector on your motherboard, <coughs> wow, my voice is going, I think I need some coffee, so I need to stop recording here. Um, if you have a three pin connector, get a three pin fan. If you have a four pin connector, if at all possible, really do look for a four pin connector because it will make a world of difference, as you've seen here. I don't know if you can hear it in the video, probably not, but it is so much quieter. Wow. So my entire rig just got quieter by like five to seven decibels if not more that's huge <laughs> by just replacing some fans um so yeah thank you guys for watching hopefully this was uh useful for you and have a better understanding of how fans work as in what to do with fans and yeah thank you guys for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe and i'll see you on the next one